Welcome back. Will Warsham joins us now for this week's speaking legal discussion. Thanks for coming in. Hey, glad to be here. Always good to see you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Yes, today's question looks like this. I bonded my boyfriend out of jail, and now the judge won't give him a public defender. He doesn't have a job, and we don't have the money for a lawyer. How can I get him a public defender? Yeah, this is a tough situation, and frankly, we see it all the time. Really? Yeah, it happens all the time. Be oh. Because he, yeah, here's what happens. So, public defenders are for people that are indigent, and I've heard many judges describe that as really, really poor. So, okay. It, it, yes. it, okay. It's a judgment call. Well, it's not a judgment call. In fact, there are some criteria, and that's okay. where this person has run afoul of that. But sometimes, first of all, there's a misperception. Sometimes people think you can just use a public defender. You can just mm -hmm. choose a public defender. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah. can't. You yeah. have to qualify, and you have to demonstrate to the court, or the court has to believe that you do not have the resources to pay for your own defense, to pay for your own attorney. Okay. okay. So, one of the flat out disqualifiers. And there are exceptions, but generally speaking, if you post a bond to get out of jail mm -hmm. of at least $5,000 or more, that's an automatic indicator that you've got the money to hire a lawyer. Right. But is that really the case? If she's, if she's, I'm sorry. No, no, I was just saying, but she bonded him out. Yeah. Right. And, but what the court is going to look at is your access to resources. And so a lot of times we find oh. this happens, or we find mom and dad or grandpa or grandma bonds them out of jail. Yeah. And what the judge and the court is going to do is said, you should use those resources to hire your lawyer right. instead of getting out of jail. Because bonding out of jail doesn't do anything to get the case moving. It doesn't do anything to make sure that your rights are protected. It just gets you out of jail. Mm -hmm. So generally speaking, judges are not very happy with people that spend all their money on a, on a bond to get out of jail yeah. and then say, oh, but I don't have the money to pay for my own lawyer. But that's a knee-jerk reaction. It, oh, it is. You know, they sure want to get is. that person out of and jail. And that's why this is a great question because mm -hmm. we get to talk about it and hopefully nobody ever runs into this situation. Right. But you should always, 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 if you've got some money, hire your lawyer before you post bond. Uh -huh. For two reasons. One, the situation we want to avoid right here. But right. second of all, usually if we're hired, we can go to court and say, hey, judge, we've been retained to represent this person. We're their lawyer. And by the way, we'd like to ask you to reduce the amount of bond. Mm -hmm. And so it's not not uncommon, especially here in Greene County, that if I'm hired on a criminal case yeah. and my client is in jail, I can go in and say, hey, judge, I'm representing this person. They're going to be living here with their family. They're not a threat to the, the community. They're not going to be a flight risk. Here's why. We can put them on an ankle bracelet. We can monitor them. We can have them checking in. Would you release them on their own recognizance? That would mean they don't even have to post a bond. Mm -hmm. They just get out. But the attorney is the one who can do that. Well, technically, anybody can do it, but it's yeah, but a little good bit... Luck. <laughs> it's a little bit operating on your own foot. You yeah. can probably do it, but maybe it's not the best plan. Yeah. Even if the judge won't let that person go without mm -hmm. uh, posting any bond, a lot of times they'll reduce it significantly. Sometimes the reduction in bond is enough to actually pay for the attorney's fee. Okay. And so th that's the reason to hire a lawyer. Now, the problem here is the judge can solve the problem and get that person a public defender, and what they usually do is say, I'll just raise your bond. So they raise the bond, you're no longer qualified, your you bond you Got previously it. posted, you're back in jail, oh. now you're qualified for the public defender because you're in jail. Anybody who's in jail automatically qualifies for a public defender. And a public yeah. defender isn't something you seek. They're court appointed, is they're, that? Right. Yeah, they're court, court appointed. You have to petition yeah. the court, say, judge, I'd like a, a public defender appointed. The judge will make either a limited or an extensive inquiry into your ability to pay yeah. and then make a decision based on that. Normally, it's going to be pretty limited. You're going to make application with the public defender's office, and they're going to make a determination based on the information you give them as to whether or not you qualify for their services or not. That also sounds like you're going to be in jail a little longer, any way you look at well, it. Well, yes or no. You don't have to be in jail to qualify for a public defender. Right. So sometimes right. people that are not in jail, or they posted a relatively low bond, maybe it was yeah. only $1,000, can mm -hmm. still go ahead and apply for the public defender. But spending your resources on bond is a good way to, to be disqualified from the public defender services and then find yourself in a really painful catch-22 situation. But that's where they are. If they are in jail, they just like, get me out mm -hmm. of here. That's the first thing they think of. Right, but that's... Pretty short sighted for the long term health of the, the case. First thing is it's not emotional. necessarily the smart thing. Yeah, right, first absolutely. thing, get a lawyer. Because yeah. they'll That's make right. 
make hopefully good decisions, give you good advice, good guidance on what to do to reduce or eliminate that bond, and then make sure your rights are protected going forward. Right. Okay. Yeah. Call or <laughs> don't always assume. Right. right. Well, right. they're from an emotional perspective. Absolutely. And that's what happens. Yeah. So. You bet. Thank you, Will. All right. You're welcome. You want out, but you want to stay out. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> There's your trick. <laughs> if you have a legal question for Will, you can email him at wwarsham at color10.com, and he'll answer your question on the show. Thank you. Thanks Thank you. again, Will. Right. You're welcome. Coming up, Kyle Wiley Pickett is here to talk about the Springfield Symphony Orchestra's next performance. Don't go away.